Hey everyone and welcome back to Mike Fish for our care guide on the dwarf snowball pleco. There are several species nicknamed snowball plecos, but I am going to talk about the hypencystris species L471 specifically. Most of the information can be applied to the others as well, major differences being the shapes and sizes of them. To just name a few, there's the L201 Orinoco Angel pleco, it's a hypencystris as well. The L102 Hypencystris Inspector, L142 Baryencystris Species, and Hypencystris Contradens. These all stay relatively small and share the same color and pattern. There are also much bigger plecos that share the same pattern and get up to 10 inches. For instance, the L007 or L240 Galaxy Vampire Plecos, which end up being pretty aggressive fish as opposed to snowball plecos. These plecos are difficult to distinguish, especially as juveniles, and are often mislabeled in pet stores. And who knows, you could even have a hybrid as well. The way to distinguish these snowball plecos is by the shape and width of their head and body, as well as the shape of their mouth and height. The L471 is nicknamed the dwarf or mini snowball pleco, as it is the smallest one out of the bunch. They tend to max out at 2.5 to 3 inches, making it a true nano pleco and one of the smallest. In a healthy aquarium, they can live from eight to 10 years. They come from the Rio Orinoco and Rio Venturi in Venezuela in softer, high flowing waters. Snowball plecos have a black body and fins with white spots scattered throughout. Sometimes the size of the spots vary from individuals. The L471 is more robust than the other snowball plecos with a wider and rounder body. Of course, they share the same pleco characteristics with a flat body with a mouth on the bottom and eyes on top. Dwarf snowball plecos are a hardy and peaceful fish. They are nocturnal, so they are way more active at night than they are during the day. I've had mine for five years and it is well established in my tank and with my feeding times. So it has become pretty active during the day as well. They are not an effective algae eater and they will also leave plants alone. That said, make sure you are feeding it a high protein diet and have a couple pieces of driftwood in the aquarium as well for it to graze on. When it comes to setting up their aquarium, I like to try to replicate their native habitat as much as possible. This includes soft, clean water with high flow and high oxygen. I would go minimum 20 gallon long for these plecos. As a bottom dwelling scavenger, they prefer more surface area in a long tank over a tall tank. With minimum space on the bottom, they can also get territorial with other plecos and bottom dwellers. Their aquarium should have sand with plenty of rockwork, caves, and driftwood. Temperature should be between 75 and 82 degrees Fahrenheit or 24 to 28 degrees Celsius with a pH between 5.5 and 7.5 and a KH between 6 and 10. Appropriate tank baits for the snowball plecos would be your typical peaceful community fish, as well as fish that don't get too large or territorial for bottom space. Resboras or some tetras would be great. However, I would avoid the fin nipping species as they will damage the great looking fins on this fish and also stress out the pleco. Regardless of what you have in the tank with them, make sure they are getting fed as they are easily outcompeted for food. Plecos are pretty slow and docile when it comes to feeding and more often than not are not being fed adequately. This species in particular is an omnivore, but it leans more towards a carnivorous diet than other plecos. Bloodworms, shrimp, sinking shrimp pellets, algae wafers, cichlid pellets, vegetable flakes are all acceptable foods, as well as peas, spinach, zucchini, and cucumber. Variety is key and giving your plecos a couple of the above options will ensure good health. But once again, meaty, high protein foods are necessary, as well as driftwood. Please don't keep this fish thinking it will survive only on a bit of algae in the tank or fish poop. They need to be fed just like every other fish and I feed mine daily. They are easily outcompeted for food so make sure they are actually eating. I have plenty of videos of feeding my rare plecos. I encourage you to check them out. The gender differences between the L471 plecos. Males have a thicker first pectoral ray with more pronounced odontodes as well as odontodes on the rear of the body. Males typically have a wider head as well. Mature females are wider around the middle of the body and have much less noticeable body and fin odontodes. 
Breeding Snowball Plecos can be done in your home aquarium and it is not that difficult. As long as the water parameters are similar to their native lands and they are well fed, they should breed. Snowball Plecos are closed cave spawners and providing plenty of caves at different sizes is your first step. Males will trap a female in, in a cave where the eggs are laid and then the male will fertilize them. At this point, the female will exit the cave and the male will guard and fan the eggs with his fins, providing a soft current over the eggs. The male will continue to guard the eggs and fry until they are free swimming and exit the cave on their own. They will lay about 10 to 20 yellowish orange eggs per spawn for this species. The L471 Dwarf Snowball Pleco would be a great addition to a fish tank. They are relatively expensive compared to other fish and plecos, costing around $60 to $90 each here in Canada. As with other plecos, please just make sure they have plenty of food and driftwood. I cannot tell you enough how many times I see malnourished plecos. As long as you provide them with an adequate diet, with clean water, good flow, and high oxygen, you will have a healthy snowball pleco for a long time. Thanks for watching my video. I encourage you to check out my channel as I have a lot of rare plecos on it. Please hit the like button as it will push my video in the algorithm and subscribe as we are almost at a thousand subscribers. Thanks a lot.